Hey everyone, it's Miss Jessica and I'm here to show you some ways that I target uh, receptive language goals on teletherapy because it can be pretty tricky when you can't maybe screen share and, and give them control of the mouse to click on something. Obviously we can't see what they're touching on the screen. And so I'm gonna use um, some pronouns, verbs, and simple sentence uh, activities that I created in my store, Speech Therapy with Lyndon Holt, to kind of give you an idea of just some of the things I do. So one option is I hold this up to the screen and I've drawn symbols or letters or shapes that I know that the child knows. And so that way I can say, show me uh, he is drinking if we're working on he, she, and they. And so they can say the one with the circle. Um, if a child does not know their shapes, maybe you could try colors letters in their name, uh, anything that would be helpful. If you put this in a sheet protector, then you can actually use a dry erase marker and, and just erase these for each child um, so that maybe you have a child that can identify letters and your next child has to use colors or shapes. So that's one way to do it. Um, another great way, again, um, if you don't wanna write on something and you just wanna hold up, maybe you even, you need to simplify it. So, um, Maybe I have it on the boy and the girl. And you can just say out of those two choices, right? The heart or the letter A. And you can even practice those beforehand. Show me he is eating ice cream. And hopefully they can, they can say, oh, the one with the heart. Another way to do it, I take my magic wand and I say, okay, you tell me stop when I get to they are eating ice cream. So you ask them to tell you when to stop and hopefully they yell stop when your magic wand gets uh, on top of the photo of more than one children, more than one child eating ice cream. So those are just some quick ideas. I hope they help you. Uh, happy teaching and thank you guys for following.